Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another edition of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, what do we got? Today we are addressing the myth that aluminum gas blocks are a good idea. You mean they're not? They're, t it's, they're not a good idea, Steve. But it saves all that weight? It saves all that weight. There's a manufacturer that, you know, used to put it on there from stock. Uh-huh. Um, easy to machine? I mean... Easy to machine. The, uh, the issue there is not necessarily as much as a fitment issue, as more as it, of it is as a wear issue over time. Oh, so... so yeah, and, you know, it, if you want to see for yourself, and if you have an aluminum gas block or know somebody with an aluminum gas block, and uh, they have some rounds through their gun, pull that aluminum gas block and look where that port in the gas block meets the barrel. It's going to be eaten away. So and it's, will continue to eat away over time? It's going to continue to do that over time, and eventually it will fail. Well, now for a guy that goes out and shoots maybe 100 rounds a year, no big deal, right? No big deal, but... I mean, why, you know, gas blocks are so cheap, there's no point in even running, True. trying that. And if you could do it lighter, the military would probably be doing that too. Yeah, and there are plenty of lightweight steel options, like the, uh, the skeletonized ones, that right. will still pretty much last forever. Even the low-profile ones, the little minimalist ones, don't weigh much at all, so no. you so might as well go with steel. It's not worth the possible issues just to save that little bit of weight. So if you believed at one time that aluminum gas blocks were a good idea, that myth's been busted, I'm sorry to say. It has. Nothing we can do. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave us a comment and smash that like button if you get a chance. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Busters.